all right so let's keep on moving and see what we can do and what we can find under the text menu for this purpose I have just created some text here and if I click on it and select it and I'll go to the text menu I'll find some properties that I can change about with our text I can also find a option to actually edit my text to insert some symbol or characters and insert or format the code I can also use this option fit text to path which we will have a look a bit later which will actually make our text appear in a certain way we can align our text we can also straighten the text we can perform some um, adjustments to the paragraph of our text frame we can also use some writing tools such as spell check and check our grammar and whatnot we can encode our our text we can change our case so going from a capital letters to normal small letters we can convert our text to paragraph we can uh, get some statistics on the text so for example how many words we have actually typed how many letters and, show, and so on and we can actually go to the font list options which will give us some options about our fonts all right so moving along to the table and first option you will find under the table menu is to create the table so we'll actually do that here you can select how many rows how many columns and the height and the width so I'll just go with what's actually given and there it is we have just created our, our little table going back to the table menu we can find uh, options to insert to insert or to select particular cell row or table to delete particular row column or table and then we can go into uh, distribute so this is how we will distribute some text or some context and it's a sort of context into our into our rows and columns evenly then we can merge cells to create one we can split it into rows we can split it into columns so basically we're doing the, the exact opposite from merging the cells and we can actually convert our table to text and then we can apply some text effects to it the next one is the tools now here you'll find some options with the options if you click on it it will actually show you some general options about your workspace about your document and about basically global so printing some printing preferences some filters that you can apply and and so on going down you can find some customization if you go into customization you can customize uh, well your work your workplace and everything else as we had in the previous option as well when we're looking at the at the options now we can actually choose which default file file type we would like our project to be saved as then we can go into some color management uh, color management some proof colors color proofing settings so all these three options are actually to do with color ma uh, color management then we can go into object management so basically what this will do it will open or will enable and show our object manager docker so if i click on it it will appear here if i go back to it and click on it again it will disappear also it will give us the object data manager view manager and the undo now we can go into color styles which will give us a bit more options for our colors same as the palette editor so if you go into palette editor you'll find many different colors and you can add and combine those colors to create some colors that you would like so the next one will be the change now we can change the pattern fill for our particular object because we have actually just selected the, the table here still so if we actually go and select the circle we can go pattern fill and we can combine many different patterns and other things we can also create uh, an error head and character if we're using for example text we can use a character now we can actually put some script in and, and some macros that actually will be played as we as we design our project now the window menu I have said this that I have said actually that the window menu menu will be more used than the other ones on the right hand side basically because it has dockers here and basically this will allow you to um, show or hide or enable any of the dockers that you might need to use and basically this is the option that you will be most often be using and the color palettes as well which once again has to do with colors 
and then you can create a new window you can cascade your current windows if you have more you can play around uh, make them fire vertically or horizontally you can close a particular window you can close all of the windows and you can refresh a window now the last option is the help menu and here you will find a lot of help information in regards to Cockerel Draw you will find some video tutorials guidebooks you can also click here and go to the welcome screen which is the first screen we have seen so many times before and basically as a new user to uh, Corel Draw you will be spending some time uh, clicking on help menu however as you become more advanced help menu will uh, still be used I guess but not as much as you would use it when you actually start start off and not to go through all these um, menus and options basically this is this is actually giving you some sort of a aid or tips and tricks that you can use to create many different designs and projects and basically will give you some information about the software as well you can update it if you are actually using the full version of this software and you can sign in into your account also you can change some account account settings so basically this was a quick overview of the main menu and all the menus that it actually offers to us as I've said before you will learn to use all of these options and a lot more in a quicker and more productive way but it's good actually to know what each of these options um, actually offer us and how we can change our objects so for example if you forget that um, to change the the order of overlapping objects the shortcut would be shift and page down to move it down you can actually go to your arrange and then go order and you will find all of these orders here so that's that's basically why it's useful to actually know where each of the options are actually located once again as more as you use Corella draw more and more you'll become more familiar with shortcuts and the quicker and better way to actually achieve pretty much the same goal as you would with using the main menu however having said that there are a few options here in the main menu which you cannot actually achieve by just pressing any sort of a short key or your right hand or your right mouse button and you will be forced to actually go into the main menu so basically as I said this is the main menu we have seen what it offers us and how to find particular options and change some of the characteristics and properties of our objects of our whole design and the view and how we actually see our document so that's it for this tutorial